Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, about the liver resection. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, liver resection is uh, a surgical removal of the portion of the liver. Even. And uh, uh, this operation is usually done uh, to remove the various types of the liver tumors that are located in uh, uh, the resected portion of the liver. You know. And uh, the goal of the liver resection is to completely remove the tumor and the appropriate uh, uh, surrounding liver tissues without leaving any tumor behind. You know. Now, in the patients with the liver cancer, uh, which is a uh, hepatocellular cancer or also known as uh, HCC. Uh, liver resection is uh, limited to the patients with one or two small tumors confined to the liver uh, with no invasion of the blood vessels you know so as a result of these uh, strict guidelines uh, in uh, very few patients with the HCC or uh, hepatocellular liver cancer you know uh, can undergo the liver resection you know. and uh, the biggest uh, concern about the resection is uh, that uh, uh, following the operation the patient can develop the liver failure you know. and uh, the liver failure can uh, occur if the remaining portion of the liver is inadequate uh, to provide the necessary support for life you know and uh, now, the goal of the uh, liver resection is uh, uh, to completely remove the tumor and uh, the appropriate surrounding liver tissue uh, without leaving any tumor behind you. Know. And uh, uh, this option is limited, uh, you know, as I told earlier, you know. And uh, when the portion of the liver uh, is removed, uh, the remaining liver uh, can grow back, you know, can re regenerate, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to the original size mm -hmm. uh, uh, within one or two weeks, you know. So this is the uh, important property of the liver, you know. And uh, a serotic liver uh, cannot grow back. This is the a problem, you know. So therefore before resection is performed uh, for the hepatocellular cancer uh, the non-tumor portion of the liver should be biopsied to determine whether uh, there is associated uh, cirrhosis you know so just to confirm that it will grow in size you know and uh, the next thing is uh, about the prognosis, you know, or the results about uh, after this surgical procedure. Well, for the hepatocellular cirrhosis, uh, the patients who, whose tumors are successfully resected, uh, the five year survival is about 10% to 60%, you know, and depending on the tumor size. And this means that uh, 10 to 60% of the patients who actually undergo the liver resection for the liver cancer are expected to live. Uh, five years and many of these patients will have a recurrence of liver cancer elsewhere in the liver you know so it should be noted that uh, the survival rate of the untreated patients with the similar size tumor and the similar liver function is probably comparable you know and uh, some studies uh, from the Europe and the Japan have showed that survival rates uh, with alcohol injection uh, the radio frequency ablation and procedures are uh, comparable to the survival rates of these patients who underwent the resection you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you.